Today's exercise is how to improve this angle in your ankle, which technically is called aversion. Uh, and it is absolutely necessary to have some flexibility in the ankles in this movement here in order to be able to keep your feet flat on the floor when you're doing things like side splits um, or pubu. What I found recently was the limitation to doing those movements turned out not to be my adductors, they're loosening up quite nicely, but I was unable to hold the outside of my feet on the floor simply because I did not have enough range of movement in the outside of my ankles. And in fact, doing the side split exercises, especially the version where you keep your feet flat on the floor and the feet parallel, um, I found that in fact the major discomfort in the movement was actually not in the groin where I expected it to be or in gracilis where it has been in the past but rather in the outside of the ankle and it's a very sharp and nasty sensation too certainly strong enough to stop you spending the time that you really want to spend in those exercises so this is what we were playing with today and it seems to work quite well I've inverted my ankle like this I've got my weight evenly on both legs and what I do then is I bend this right, uh, this left one slightly and I'm just bouncing my weight up and down, the whole of my body's weight or as much as I can tolerate on the outside of this ankle here, trying in time to get the outside of that ankle to touch the ground completely. I used to be able to do it and I'm sure it'll come back quite quickly. So the bouncing with weight loaded up as much or, or as much as you can take and trying to relax enough so the outside of the ankle goes into the floor that's one of the methods that I've played with today. And here's another one. I turn the ankle, I'm changing my weight over now, of course, I'm t and I turn the ankle so that the inside of the left foot's facing the right like this. And then I put as much of my weight on as I can to actually stretch it without moving the hips to the side. And then I'm going to try and straighten the ankle by pressing the outside edge of that ankle straight into the floor as though I was straightening my ankle like this. I stop, I take a breath in, and on a breath out, I press down a bit further, and as you can see, the outside of the ankle is fairly close to the floor now, or closer than it was, and then I just stay there. Like all things, it con the contractions can be repeated. You can go a bit further, contract, go a bit further, contract, go a bit further, and there I feel I've got some new movement there. And in this new system that we're using at the moment, we're actually combining contractions with little pulsing movements like this, Oh, that's definitely very, very strong indeed. And that is definitely working. So those of you that are really trying to do those Chinese-style side splits movement with parallel feet, just give this a go and see whether the next time you try to do the legs apart exercise, any discomfort in your ankle might have reduced. I found this absolutely fantastic. And in fact, already, even though I only b began doing this seriously this morning, I can already feel it on a second attempt today. So it's uh, in the afternoon, evening here. Um, that I can already get down further. So it seems to me that that range of movement in the ankle is completely natural, but if you don't explore it, you won't be able to access it. Okay, give it a go and report back on the forums, please. And thanks to Fred for camera work.